fans were not prepared for a number of TV deaths which were part of some very hard-hitting storylines this year. From Coronation Street to EastEnders, the soaps served up some of the most devastating deaths. However, the loss of Rick Grimes and his son Carl in The Walking Dead also left TV fans bereft. Here we've rounded up the 10 most shocking deaths to be shown on TV in 2018 Riverdale, Midge Clump Midge Clump, played by Emily Baranak, spent a lot of her time in Riverdale at the sidelines of each of the main characters' social gatherings. While she became a more prominent character throughout season 2, Midge found herself in a spot of bother when she attempted to purchase some jingle jangle from a drug dealer. This led to Midge being tracked down by the Black Hood for sinning, prompting a swift rescue by Archie Andrews, KJAPA. But after being saved she didn't last long, as she was shockingly ed off screen and pinned to their wall during the school play Carrie, the musical. This brutally bloody death left a lasting effect on each of the show's characters and kick-started the beginning of the crusade to take down the Black Hood once and for all. The Handmaid's Tale Eden Blaine The Handmaid's Tale has seen a lot of death throughout its two seasons, but none have been as tragic as Eden's, Sydney Sweeney. Eden, a 15-year-old wife from a farm close to Gilead, was granted to Nick Blaine, Max Mingella, during a horrifying child bride ceremony. While Nick wasn't mean to his new wife, he certainly never reciprocated her affection which left Eden looking for love elsewhere with Isaac, Rowan Mead. The pair ran off together to safely be in love and build a life with one another but the forces of Guile had proved too strong for them, and they were quickly found and brought back. In a shockingly visceral display the pair were dropped into a swimming pool attached to weights, drowning them. Even the usually cold-hearted Serena Joy, Yvonne Strahovski, was reduced to tears as Eden's mother and father cried out after her. Her death was not in vain. However, as this horrific death was one of the final acts which pushed June, Elizabeth Moss, to get her newborn daughter, Holly, out of Gilead. Coronation Street Aiden Connor Coronation Street ground the nation to a halt earlier this year as Aiden Connor, Shane Ward, tragically took his own life after struggling with his mental health. Aiden had planned his death months earlier, but when it became apparent his sister, Carla Connor, Alison King, needed a kidney, he quickly stepped up. After the life-saving surgery for Carla, Aiden took his life during a leaving party for his father, Johnny Connor, Richard Hawley. His death started a conversation about mental health, and showed the lasting effects suicide can have on an entire community. Coronation Street's former producer Kate Oates said, with 84 men taking their lives each week, we simply can't afford to not talk about it. For confidential support. Call the Samaritans in the UK on 116 123 or visit a local Samaritans branch. EastEnders, Shea Kill K's Emmy EastEnders took a break from its usual family drama and pub antics to tackle some hard-hitting stories earlier this year. In May, Shea Kill K's Emmy, Shaheen Jafar Kali, was caught up in a brutal instance of gang warfare after his friend Keegan Baker, Zach Morris, stole a bike. The bike belonged to a gang of teenagers who eventually tracked down both Keegan and Shaquille before brutally stabbing them. Keegan was eventually found by Mick Carter, Danny Dyer, and was rushed off to hospital, where he was saved. Unfortunately, Shaquille was not found for a few days and eventually succumbed to his wounds. EastEnders concluded the storyline with Shaquille's emotional funeral, which was full of people who have been affected by knife crime in real life, as well as showing the effects of the crimes in the greater community. This is US. 
Jack Pearson This is as fans were not shocked by the impending death of Jack Pearson, Milo Ventimiglia, in season 2 of the drama. While hints and clues leading towards his death were peppered throughout both seasons, viewers were simply not emotionally ready to see poor Jack lose his life. In a number of horrific scenes Jack and Rebecca's, Mandy Moore, house was engulfed in a devastating fire. The fire, which was caused by a faulty slow cooker given to Jack by a neighbor, quickly took over the entire house, causing Jack to run everyone out of the building, in scenes which will haunt this is as fans forever. Jack later returned to the burning house for the family dog, where he breathed in a fatal amount of smoke. Although he arrived at the hospital seemingly fine, he later stopped breathing and d, leaving Rebecca, their children, and the show's fans completely devastated. Bodyguard, Julia Montague Bodyguard quickly became one of the most watched shows in the UK during its first few weeks on air this summer, daytime talk shows and newspapers were all discussing what would happen in the next week's episode, and debating over who was truly responsible for attempting to Julia Montague, Keely Hawes. It was then unbelievable for fans of the show when Julia was blown up by a suicide bomber during a speech in episode 3, halfway through the series. While the bodyguard himself, Sergeant David Budd, Richard Madden, was the show's protagonist, the plot revolved around Julia. And once she was out of the picture for good fans were extremely unsure where the narrative would then move to, American Horror Story, Michael Langdon in a plot which has taken almost 10 years and 8 seasons to complete, American Horror Story, Apocalypse saw the introduction of Michael Langdon, Cody Fern. Michael was first introduced in season 1, after date, Evan Peters, a ghost, fathered a child with Vivian, Connie Britton. This event caused the birth of Michael, the supposed Antichrist, who could be seen in his babysitter in the final episode of the season. And after terrorizing the inhabitants of the bunker for an entire season, Mallory, Billy Lord, decides to end the fight once and for all. But unfortunately for her, Michael was too powerful to fight forcing Mallory to do the only thing she could, travel back in time and Michael when he was a teenager, Mallory made sure he was dead by viscerally running him over multiple times, saving the world from the apocalypse at the hands of Michael. The Haunting of Hill House Nell Crane The Haunting of Hill House caught horror fans off guard as the gruesome tale also tackled emotional family drama as well as horrific monsters. The first episode demonstrated this perfectly, as Stephen Crane, Michelle Huisman, struggled to deal with his troublesome sister, Eleanor Nell Crane, Kate Siegel, and Luke Crane, Oliver Jackson Cohen. But the final moments of episode 1 saw Nell reveal herself to Stephen as a ghost with a terrifying scream. Although viewers were introduced to Nell's death early in the series the episode dedicated to her life was something to behold. After slowly losing her mind to the will of the haunted hill house, and the relentless crook neck lady, she appeared with a noose around her neck at the top of her childhood home stairs. The final slip saw her fall and break her neck before literally falling through time, where she saw herself as the crook neck lady tormenting herself in the past. The Walking Dead, Carl Grimes The Walking Dead saw many deaths and exits throughout season 9, but none were as emotional as Carl Grimes, Chandler Riggs death back in season 8, the youngster had been part of the show's main cast for almost 10 years, and had appeared in most of the episodes. Chandler grew up on set, from a boy to an 18 year old, so it was pretty shocking when it was finally his time to go. Despite being a controversial decision, Carl's death paved the way for the rest of the season 8 and 9,
After saving a stranger in the woods, Carl was bitten by a walker, but managed to keep the wound a secret. Eventually the truth came out which devastated Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln, and began one of the most emotional episodes of the show. Carl's death prompted Rick to defeat Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, without ing him. The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes The Walking Dead also provided perhaps the most shocking death of the year in the form of Rick Grimes. AMC had promoted the brutal final scenes of Rick months in advance and had all but said he was going to be ed off in a dramatic final episode. The episode in question saw Rick return to some of the sets from the first episodes of the show, and reunite with some dead members of his gang throughout the years. But in a final gotcha moment from AMC, Rick was saved by Jadis, Pollyanna McIntosh, when she ordered in a helicopter to pick him up. It was later announced Trick would be starring in three of his own feature-length films which would eventually finish out his story once and for all. After his final scenes, the show jumped forward a number of years, removing any possibility of him returning to meet his friends once again, leaving fans utterly stunned.